Hi guys, in this tutorial I will show you how to create a carbon fiber material in Vray for Cinema 4D. Let's start. First of all, create Vray Bridge, Vray Advanced Material. That's the usual Vray shader that we use in our to create our many many material. Double click on it and open up the diffuse layer of this material. In the texture layer of the diffuse, I'm going to apply my carbon diffuse um, texture that uh, I have in my texture folder. So it's applied to my shader. After doing this, I'm going to apply rename, sorry, the material to carbon fiber, and I will apply it to my shadow ball to see what happens. Okay, I think I'm going to apply a cubic. This is not a good idea. Let's see what happens with 10 by 10 tiles. No, I don't like it, so I'm going to 1 by 1 by 1. Um, apply a cylindrical, no. I think uh, UV mapping is good for me. But I Okay, this is good for me. Let's try with seamless. No, it don't change everything. So, let's see what happens in my first render test. So, I'm going to set up my render settings to have a quick render. Okay, my settings are good. So, let's try the first render. Okay, at this moment I have only uh, a diffuse layer applied to my carbon fiber material, but it looks nice because the texture is good, I have some variation in uh, my shader and uh, for the diffuse layer I'm, I'm pretty happy with it. Close the test render and go to carbon fiber shader and I think I'm going to apply the first specular op activate my specular layer and in this layer I'm going to apply this carbon spec texture okay and reduce my Fresnel IOR to 1.3 and my reflection gloss of about 0.8 okay and see what happens now? Okay, my render is finished, and uh, as you can see, um, this uh, specular layer um, helps so much to create a realistic shader but I'm not happy with it because I'm going to have some bump uh, on my shader so to do this I'm going to open up material again I'm going to bump, activate the layer and in the, in the texture of bump I'm going to uh, apply this uh, normal map drag and drop it 
and after this I'm going to change my map type to uh, normal map in tangent space okay let's see what happened in my test render Okay, as you can see, the normal map increases uh, the realism of my material, but I think it's inverted, and I don't like this effect in this area, so I will try to change the power of my bump map in my bump map layer with an amount of minus one centimeter so let's see what happened in my test render okay here we are I am I think my problem with bump map is solved and I like so much these effects that uh, resolve the problem in this area and uh, also the, the rest of the image is better than the previous one uh, after all I, I think this is a good point for a uh, mm, matte uh, shader carbon fiber shader but i think to do um, i would like to uh, create a glossy uh, carbon fiber shader and to do this i'm going to activate my second specular layer and see what happens let's try <laughs> we'll like a glossy one, but the bum map interferate with my. reduce on to zero and this is good so let's try to reduce to 0 0.5 and see what happens with my second layer Okay, the render is finished and uh, I think this is a nicer look for uh, my carbon fiber material and I hope you enjoy to it and stay tuned for some many other tutorials. Bye!